As your woodland starts to mature, from around the age of about 20, 25, you'll start to notice distinct variation starts to develop between the trees within your stand and potentially also between different species. Growth form and rates will vary and become more distinct. Such as the examples behind me here, you can see we've got two different trees growing right next to each other. One's becoming slightly more suppressed, the other one's becoming more dominant and pulling away. As we start to recognise these differences and this variation, this is a good time to start thinking about our first proper management interventions, such as thinning. When we think about thinning, what we really want to do is take the opportunity to start to improve stand stability through exposing the trees to more wind. It allows us to remove any diseased or damaged trees and it allows us to generate some income from the thinning as well in the sale of timber. That thinning can either be quite systematic, where we go through and remove individual rows at set distances, or it might be selective, where we go through and we remove individual trees on their independent merits. That's particularly important when we're in a situation where we've got mixed species growing together. And we want to make sure that one species doesn't outcompete the other, and we need to make sure that each species gets the room that it needs to grow. To undertake that thinning and those interventions, it's important that we have good access. That access can go from everything from a ride that you'll cut into an existing stand of trees or existing rides within the woodland that are required to get machinery access. We might want some formal metalled access such as built forest roads which allow efficient use of machinery and make sure that we don't do any undue damage to the woodland floor. Whilst this thinning is underway and whilst these interventions are underway this is also a really good opportunity to introduce other management regimes things like mowing rides and maintaining open space within the woodland, which will help improve the overall biodiversity value and, and potential social value of your woodland. If recreation is something that you want to encourage in your woodland, having good access throughout your woodland can be a good opportunity to, to allow that to take place and people can take advantage of rides, racks and formal infrastructure within your woodland. If you'd like any further information about woodland management, I suggest you visit gov.uk forward slash manage hyphen woodland.